Okay, Cheryl. <laughs> Good afternoon. We'll call this meeting to order. It's a regular meeting of the New Orleans Planning Commission, New Orleans, Minnesota, Thursday, March 35th, Thirst, 2016, 4.30 p.m. We have six items on the agenda today. Item one would be to approve the minutes of the February 25th. <coughs> I'll make a motion to approve the minutes as published. I'll second. We have a motion and a second to approve the minutes. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Now item two, consider for approval the preliminary plot of Castle House subdivision. Okay. Um, the applicant is Bob Van Zyl. The property owner is Van Zyl Properties, LLC. Current legal description of the property is Lot 8 and 9, Block 105 South of Center Street. Street address is 16 and 20 South Broadway. Property is zoned B1 Limited Business District. Those of you that serve on the Board of Zoning Adjustment may remember that uh, you had before you a request for a variance at last month's meeting. Might note that the City Council um, you know, did approve that, um, that variance. Uh, property is generally located west of South Broadway on south of Center Street. Bank Midwest is located to the south of this property. And A2 Zinnia Floral is um, located across South Broadway to the east. A mix of offices and residential uses are located within the block. Residential uses are located further south governmental and institutional uses to the west, institutional, residential, and governmental uses to the north, and commercial uses to the east. Properties to the south and north are zoned B1, to the west R2, and to the east B3. Located on the property are two residential units and two accessory buildings. The plat would realign the property line between the two residential units. Um, the current property line between lots eight and nine goes through the residential unit located on the proposed lot one. Approval of the plat would allow the residential units to be sold separately. The two plats would be replatted into two lots with the following lot areas. Lot one of Block one would have 10,052 square feet. Lot two um, of block one would have um, 8,162 square feet. We have a typing mistake there. Um, there's a total of 18,214 square feet. There are no lot area, lot depth, or lot width requirements in the B1 zoning district. The current comprehensive plan designates the property for downtown land uses. Comprehensive plan does not designate a park within the platted area. Uh, utilities to serve the site adjoin the property. They're actually into the property. Um, the garage located on the uh, proposed lot two and the residential unit on lot one are both situated within nine feet of the new property line. The required um, side yard setback in the B1 zoning district is 10 feet. And as I noted previously, the City Council has approved uh, the variance um, for that side yard, for those side yard setbacks. Um, attached is a copy of the preliminary plat, an aerial photo of the property, and then four ground level photographs. Um, just real quickly, photo one is um, standing in the alley looking to um, kind of the southwest. That's the uh, one of the residential units. Um, photo two is kind of the approximate location of um, the uh, new property line. Um, photo three uh, gives you a little bit more of uh, indication of the uh, um, distance between the two residential units, you know, that now will be separated. Um, and photo four, um, nine feet off the side of this particular building is where the new property line will be located. And so we're standing in the alley. And so the property line will extend from the alley towards the house. Um, you can kind of see that um, on the front. 
of the property. It'll extend in that direction, then veer right, and then take a left-hand turn and go out to the sidewalk and to South Broadway. Any questions? This is one owner of both of these buildings, correct? Yep. And the utilities are into both buildings now, so changing the lot line would not change how they come in and out of these buildings? No. Okay. What are your wishes? you like to speak? Just go to the microphone over there. Hi. Uh, thanks for having me here today. I'm the owner of the property. I'm Bob Van Zyl, and I live at 1806 North Minnesota Street, number two. Um, this was an idea that I had <coughs> before I actually had a buyer for the property. The buyer for the property is, as he describes himself and his wife describes himself, is an older gentleman. <laughs> and she's younger, and they're actually doing their estate planning in advance because they want to live in the castle house, and they want to be able, when he moves on, to have his wife sell the other house to decrease their debt liability. So I, myself, was going to split it one way or the other, okay, in order to, so that it's much easier to sell a property like that as two individual lots as opposed to buying the whole thing because you have to get commercial loans, especially in this district. Um, whereas if they're both single family residents, re residences despite the zoning, you can still get regular standard financing. Now the only thing you can do is get a five year loan. Uh, from a, from a lender because it's basically a commercial property as it exists because it has more than one unit. So I had the idea before anyway uh, to split them, but this couple uh, wants it done that way and uh, it was approved by, uh, in fact, everybody I think has already mm -hmm. seen this mm -hmm. uh, except for Gary. Uh, are, are you on the, are you also on the, the other? Okay, so you're, you're on this, this Just level. this one. Okay. So everybody's already seen it before, and uh, it's a. I think that uh, Dave and L would agree it's a relatively minor variance that we did, but I had to go through that process because we've got nine feet from each property back in the back, uh, and s as opposed to ten feet. So it's really relatively minor, and it, that's the way it was built a hundred years ago. So I'm hoping that it will be approved so that I can sell the property the way that people want to buy it. And I would have proposed it any way myself, this way or the other way. But this so is the you're, way. So you're requesting to be change the lot line, but you're looking to sell both lots. Yeah, I'm selling. I'm selling both of them right now. The purchase agreement says that I sell them the castle house, and then immediately after, I also deed over the house at 20 to them. So they're going to own both of them. And based on what I can see, they're pretty fine citizens. Uh, I cleaned the property up quite a bit myself. I took a lot of ivy off the walls and did landscaping stuff because it's sort of visible. Everybody who drives down Broadway sees it. And so I wanted, I cleaned it up. I spent uh, some money with Adam, Gar with Adams, yeah. And he cleaned it up very nice, and I, I think these people are going to maintain it well, too. He worked, they're from Spirit Lake, and he worked for a city department there for 25 or 30 years, and he's in the hospital right now at Abbott. He just had underwent open-heart surgery, but I think they're good people, and I think they're going to maintain it, and I don't think there's going to be an eyesore, uh, which you never want to have on Broadway anyway. I think they're going to take good care of it. Yeah, one other question for you. Mm -hmm. Are you aware of if we do the approval, that part of the condition is for the electronic file of, of the plot and AutoCAD? That's yes. to yes, you I've to provide that. You're aware of that and you're okay with that? Yeah, I've, I've, I've contracted with survey services out of Mankato. They did the survey. I've already paid them in advance for all the work, right? Um, Elwood 
that they, they know what they have to do and that's part of the contract I have with them and it's prepaid. That's one all that you're aware and agree that that's yes. part of the condition? I've paid for it already. I make a motion that we approve this with the uh, recommendations from the city staff. I will second. Okay, we have a motion and a second uh, approving the plot as requested with, with the conditions recommended by the staff. Any other questions, comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. This will go to the city council to probably Tuesday night. I don't know what that date is, but the, they have a meeting on Tuesday. So this will go to the council. April 5th. Okay. It, it takes a while to get the work done. And then no, this is for approval of the preliminary plat. Okay. All right. okay. Then it comes back for final plat it, approval. It will come back at the Planning Commission's April meeting for the final plat approval. Okay. Thank you very much. City Council again. So. Okay. <laughs> Moving on, item three, status of revisions on the zoning and subdivision regulations. Okay, again, as last month, um, just haven't had time to, to do a whole lot. Um, one thing that I wanna mention that um, I would like to do though when, when we get some time is um, I um, will be sending out uh, to the Planning Commission um, for your consideration um, certain items that I'd like to um, get a response back from you on as far as um, you know, certain um, provisions that you think uh, would be appropriate or would not be appropriate. And so that I can kind of get a feel as to how to um, write um, some of the provisions that we're going to have, um, you know, in the ordinance, in the landscape ordinance. So um, don't be surprised um, <coughs> to see that uh, coming your way. The, the one thing that I do have to advise you, though, is that your responses have to be back to me and only me. You cannot share your responses to other members of the Planning Commission or that constitutes a violation of the open meeting law. So, you know, it's only between um, us. And at the um, next Planning Commission meeting, I'll be happy to share the results with you, but that then is in a public, uh, what, so what's meeting. the preference of the response? Doing something verbally by no, phone? No, I'd like you to uh, no, email or no, we're talking email. Just reply, not reply all. <laughs> me, oh, <laughs> 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 I'm having trouble just replying. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. So else? just to yep. no, nothing else to report. Okay, moving on then to uh, item four, receive report of city council decisions concerning the planning commission matters for March. Okay, at the city council's March 1st meeting, they conducted the second reading of an ordinance that will permit the sale of natural gas outside of the corporate limits of the city. We talked about that a little bit at uh, last month's meeting and that, was, uh, or that ordinance was approved on a 4-1 vote. At the uh, March 15th meeting, they conducted the public hearing on the final plat of Valley Heights Sixth Edition. That is the Aldi's property, and that is located at 1520 West Ridge Road. And that plat was approved um, on a unanimous vote with conditions. Um, at that same meeting, they um, approved a request uh, to um, apply for funding uh, from the 2016 um, Minnesota bonding bill that is currently um, going through the uh, legislature and that uh, funding would be used for um, improvements of the amphitheater at um, Sherman Park. I think the uh, monetary request was $300,000. Um, they also at that meeting um, authorized an application to fund a Minnesota Green Corp position to work on urban forestry projects within the city. And so that application will be made. Apparently that's been a longstanding desire of the uh, Tree Commission. Yep. 
Okay. Item five, receive report on Heritage Preservation Commission activities. Uh, we had a meeting last month, or this month, um, for a sign review with Northwest Mutual Insurance uh, on new office on Center Street. Um, they accepted the sign review. That was it. Okay. Uh, item six is adjournment, but I have a question <laughs> before we get there. Um, I'm having some problems apparently with the city address and replying. They're not getting my, I'm getting the information, but they're not getting my replies. Am I alone in that one or is? Like applying for an issue or what? Are yes, you? like for instance saying that I'm gonna be here or and there's also one that says click on to the, uh, signify that you received the document it sends something back and I talked to her today and she's not getting any of that. So am I doing, who do I see I guess to help me out? <laughs> um, either Nate. Yeah, we'll have to talk to our IT our guy. IT guy. I know everybody out. else, you know, we got Maybe I'm just doing something. I mean, if I could just can. maybe come and see somebody or whatever. Yeah. Operator error. Because I know Larry <laughs> mentioned that to you, the <laughs> reply up on top and the reply. <laughs> 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 So it I might be something that. simple, but I'm having some troubles there. So. Don't feel like okay. doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's uh, since I they put me on the city address thing. Mm -hmm. So uh, we'll mention it to him and see if we can find out what the problem is. Okay. Any other items? Move to adjourn. I'll move. <laughs> no objections. <laughs>